The entertainment industry is now open for business, but as it turns out, people are not flocking events because of cost. The admission from, this admission rather, from a local promoter speaking on Smile Jamaica this morning. Jamaicans have been shying away from paying higher costs to access parties since restrictions under the Disaster Risk Management Act were lifted. This is the assessment of promoter of Dream Weekend Jermaine Brown, who says partygoers are flocking to smaller events. The cost to attend some of the more popular parties can run from a low of $6,000 to a high of over $20,000. The lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and now the war in Ukraine have been blamed for Jamaicans counting every dollar. Mr. Brown says this has forced promoters to become more innovative in their offerings to ensure cost effectiveness for patrons and promoters. From what I've seen with events so far, you've seen moderate to <coughs> low crowds, but you see the, and that's for the higher revenue events. For the cheaper events, I think that you may see people that was just going towards them, like the cool effects and stuff so would, 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 would flock towards them. He pointed to the Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships on the way at the National Stadium as another example. I was amazed yesterday to find that you could still get season tickets to purchase. Right? Yeah, for a chance. Yeah, and that's, that's something that you never usually hear. And, and but, but like things are starting up, things are going to come back slower. Persons have not budgeted for it. People that usually fly down for champs probably wouldn't have because they said, well, I don't know if it's going to happen. So they wouldn't book their time. In the meantime, Mr. Brown is optimistic that there will be a turnaround in three months. Hopefully, the curve will go up very quickly. And by summer, we should see more persons booking their time and coming to Jamaica for entertainment. Anthony Lug, TVJ News.